Hello friends, a very good morning and evening to you. After great success of Extreme Excel and Extreme Selenium and a very good response from users, uh, we are la launching uh, our a new channel uh, which is Python based and we are calling it as Extreme Python. So this is our first video tutorial uh, for Python where we will be reading data from a JSON file and uh, we'll be further using it uh, uh, for, for some operations let's see how so basically we'll be starting with uh, a simple json file so uh, you can see it here on the left hand side just to explain you what all components do we have in this json i'm uh, again writing it so basically uh, we have a json file here in these tags and let's say we have only one node its name is employee and we have some values or you can say some records for these employees and therefore I'm keeping it is in the form of an array so for array I'm using uh, square brackets now I need to put multiple records so starting with first record I need to put that in again curly braces um, so first record has multiple fields it may be name of that employee uh, so it, it should go like this only uh, name and then value and separated by a comma uh, I need to put the second field which is department uh, whatever right so, so, so we, we go like this and similarly if this is first record uh, and whose value is the checkamal department is ABC and if I want to put second record in this array I will be simply copying and pasting it over here and I can add as many records I want so I can change the values based on that I will be able to uh, uh, create this uh, JSON format so this is same format uh, we have employee array we have these records first record second record and like this now my problem statement is based on uh, these records I want to create a separate file for every uh, individual and uh, I'll be keeping the file name as a combination of uh, his ID his or her ID and name and uh, the content of the file would be uh, the entire information of that uh, individual so for this we need to uh, write a Python script and in Python script we need to first of all open this JSON file we need to read that JSON file and then we need to further read each record one by one and create a separate file for it and then paste the data uh, for, for each record in a specific file so we'll be all doing this using Python scripts and if you talk about Java or any other language this code may be um, a very lengthy uh, um, um, line of code I mean this program may be having a lot of lines uh, that you need to write but in Python it will be very easy let's see how so I'm simply opening a new uh, Python uh, editor and I'm using the default ideal uh, uh, Python editor um, so here we first need to import uh, the JSON library uh, and after that uh, you need to open that file so for the sake of convenience I am keeping uh, the JSON uh, file here in this folder okay so and I'll be saving this uh, Python file here again in this same folder so with open I need to open that file so if I'm keeping both files in same folder I need not mention the complete path uh, but I can simply give the, the file name so open uh, the file name for, for uh, uh, that I want to take as input is input.json and I'll give it an alias for further using it I keep it as the json underscore data now I need to work on this um, so I first need to load this JSON file so I create another variable I call it as JSON now I'm using the function uh, in, in, which is there in JSON library to, to, to read that or to load that JSON so JSON.load uh, now I need to use this as an argument this will load the entire JSON and if you want to simply print it over right here so I can simply print it like this print data let's see what happens so we need to save this 
uh, and let, let me copy this file path uh, and I'll be pasting this uh, I'll be putting this script over there only so save as here call it as new json read file script okay save it let's run it f5 and it gives me uh, the complete array uh, but i need to create a separate file for each and i need to uh, put the record for every uh, individual in a separate file so to create a file uh, first of all uh, i need to iterate it through number of records that are there in that array so to identify the or to count the number of arrays um, the array elements we need to uh, uh, use the uh, uh, we or we can simply uh, we can uh, use some count fu uh, functions or we can simply iterate it in a loop um, uh, and we can use for each loop which will be taking care of that count itself so I'm um, uh, taking uh, let's say if I want to print the content of the array which is employee uh, so for that I just need to put uh, data and in uh, square brackets I need to put employee employee like this okay so if I print this let's see what happens again it gives me that array right now if I want to read a specific value in this uh, uh, in this uh, array uh, or as you can say a simple uh, one one record for in this array uh, I need to specify uh, 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 the, 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 the field that, that I want to read or the index for which I want to access so for example if I want to print all the names so here I can specify something like this all the names of this file okay there is some syntax error uh, it should go like this uh, okay and uh, you need to first of all give the index number which you want to access or or you can put it in a loop so that it automatically takes care of the indexes so I'm using a for loop for each uh, element in this array okay and then uh, we'll be individually taking care of the records so if I say print now R is one record of this array, and it will keep uh, it will keep on iterating through all the elements of this array. So I need one field of this array, which is name. Okay, it gives me all the names. Similarly, if I change the uh, field to city, it gives me all the cities. Now. Uh, we need to create a file for every individual that means we need to do something over here so to create a file I'll be using a file object and I'll simply try to open a file so if I use open function if the file exists and uh, it, uh, if, if it is there it will try to open it and if it is not there it will create a new file but we need to give the right access to that we need to pass on permissions so the file name uh, that I want to keep is uh, the ID of employee uh, for, for ID I'll be using uh, I'll be picking that ID from here R comma ID uh, uh, in, in quotes and then followed by uh, let's say a double quote uh, not, uh, 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 underscore in the, in the file name and then followed by name of that employee which is this Okay, and I'll keep the extension as .txt. Okay, so this is my uh, file you can say which I'm I'm going to create, and I need to pass on permission so that it can create a new file if it is not there. Okay, now after this we need to write in that file. So writing in a file is very easy. Now you have the object of file. Uh, you can simply use uh, uh, that object and use write function to pass any value in this so if you want to put uh, let's say r 
again in uh, you are accessing an element of that record so you need to pass the field name which you want to access and suppose uh, you you want it like this uh, after a couple of spaces okay you want to put the second field which is uh, manager okay and then you need a third field which is uh, city let's keep these three fields only right now fine after writing to that file you can close the file and uh, you can simply write fo.close and after this uh, these closing brackets and that's all let's uh, run it and see what happens when we run this script so this is the folder where it should create the new files so okay something wrong open is not defined okay fine so uh, okay this O should be small so this case sensitive uh, uh, something else um, let's quickly see what what else we did wrong so this is id do we have id for every record let's check in the json yes we do have and then followed by double quote underscore and then followed by name which is okay and then followed by the extension okay this should go in double quotes this is wrong okay. now it ran successfully and you see it created five different files one for each employee and you can see the data in every file which is specific to that record So this was very simple example for reading JSON and writing to files. Now one case could be, let's say mm, uh, you can take an example of, uh, let's say one employee is not having, or, or you can say one, this person is not having any manager. This is at the highest position in, the, in that organization. Now when the script will try to uh, access the, this value for that record, it may give something wrong let's see yes it is giving some error that key error manager because that key does not exist for this record so uh, we need to handle this case as well now there could be multiple options either you can ignore this node or you can do nothing for for this particular record or you can handle it gracefully by putting some conditions so for the time being let's take a, a, a uh, the example that you want to simply ignore that that record which is not having any manager you don't want to write a separate file for that person so I'm deleting these files okay I need to first of all close this to delete this try again okay, delete it. So, so I need to put a, a condition over here that do not try to create a file because I'm accessing that uh, 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 city here uh, or you can say manager over here so don't create a file if that person is not having any manager so I can uh, put a if condition over here and I can say that if r dot has key I'm checking if that record is having a key whose name is manager or not in that case if it is having the key only then create a file otherwise don't do anything so by doing this it will simply ignore the first record so when we run it now it does not give any error and we should not see any file for first record and that's how it is working fine so you can uh, um, play with uh, 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 conditions you can play with loops you can do anything uh, but this is a simple example of reading um, data and manipulating it according to our need. 
so if you want uh, to see more content on this channel and if you really like uh, our effort and uh, if you want to appreciate uh, i would uh, ask you to uh, hit subscribe button and hit like on our videos thank you for watching this video goodbye